Alright, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Shakiro Shadows Die Twice 100% walkthrough on New Game Plus Last episode we fought the um, mini boss Ch Chen Ogre number 2 uh, in the bottom of the main tower of Ashina Castle and then we walked our way to the old grave sculpted the idol, activated that and then we are here ready to activate the great serpent shrine's idol but before we can do that We'll have to face another Long Shadow Shinobi from the Interior Ministry. And uh, in the initial area you fight him is actually quite uh, small, so you rather draw him out. So he is Long Shadow. Who's Masanari? Okay, he just got poison. I guess Masanari is the one that we killed in the dojo. Let me carry that. Yeah, don't get hit by that. Dodge the sweep and then get a few attacking. Okay, um, you're gonna pause your broken. Camera boss. Okay, so it's actually a lot easier than you get a prayer beat here for the first playthrough, and yeah, it's a lot easier than the one we fought in the Ashina Dojo just now, right? And he's one of the. And he's called what? The Long. The Long Shadow. Spear bearer? Not quite sure why, because he has no spear on him. He has a very strange name. Don't really get it. Oh, another dragon droplet. That's nice. The dust a little in this place so that I actually haven't even need to use it to clear the dragon rods yet. Activate the Great Serpent, Shrine Idol, and Rest a bit. And of course, you know there's no point in activating a dragon droplet to you know to cure dragon rot when we're about to fight bosses right this is uh, no point to that because any dragon rot you cured might just come back okay now now that we've uh, taken care of this internal ministry shinobi we're gonna work our way back to the bridge and explore the water because you know now we can breathe underwater yeah, you guys can't, so yeah, bite it. There's a nice item here. And then... Yeah, there's gonna be something scary. Yep. 
Okay, before that, we're gonna quickly go here. There's a headless operation samurai in the deep of this pond. I don't know, it's almost like some Ashina guy killed someone, cut his head off, cut a samurai head off and threw him in the pond. Kind of disturbing. Anyway, as usual, you can't use these buff items underwater, which is why I had to do it here. And these underwater headless only has one life, which is, uh, you know, which is good. Do that. Apply this. Confetti. And heal up. And then we're good to go. Now, going in water, the fight's a lot different. Uh, you're gonna have to like go around. You can heal, of course. But uh, oh, I got grabbed. Yeah, that's something you gotta w watch out for. Man, the fish is not helping. You have to like dodge these attacks and then swim in to do some damage, deflect. And just keep whacking away. As he actually does some shockwave attack. Okay, you're gonna get a pre speed. No, not pre speed, sorry, you're gonna get one of the spirit four, right? The permanent sugar consumable that cause spirit emblems. Yeah, so he does some shockwave attack, which you have to just like dodge by swimming in circles and when he's done that, you attack him a few times, he's gonna swing, deflect. Yeah, I did a pretty poor example of how to fight this uh, headless, but I guess it should be e easy enough in the first playthrough to not have a strict strategy upon it. Alright, and these fishes, man, keep distracting me. Alright, so that's the third hitless samurai we've killed. What are these? Oh, the lizard, seriously? Oh, item. Alright, now with that... I'm gonna backstab him. It was a very annoying Shinobis. <laughs> Let's see if there's any items up there. Um, yeah. Let's quickly look. Probably no item. But uh, yeah, let's just be sure. Okay, no item. Good to know. Alright, so I'm gonna come back here. Wrist. And let's look at... Uh, so we got that, we are here. This one is locked, this one is locked. We got the old grid, we got the great serpent, the abandoned dungeon, national reservoir. So we unlocked everything else except the two main ones, right? Castle Tower Lookout and the Upper Tower Cruise Room. These can only unlock after the next boss fight, which means we're just gonna quickly teleport to Ashina Dojo and prepare for our next boss fight. And obviously that means this will be the end of this episode of Shakiro Shadow Die Twice 100% Walkthrough on New Game Plus. Uh, next episode, we are, I am going to back up my save because there is a story quest option. If you choose the one, you actually get the first ending. It's also known as a bad ending or the quick ending. It does uh, give you 
the opportunity to fight two unique bosses, which is nice, I guess, and interesting. So we're gonna do that first. And then after acquiring that ending, I'm gonna reload my save and carry on with the other option, which will continue the story further. All right, so hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope it helps you in your own playthrough. If you liked it and it helped, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitch where I'll be streaming gaming almost on a daily basis. And that'll be all for this episode. Thanks for watching. Nibu Jinjiro out.